guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take a daytime makeup into an evening makeup with just like a few products. <laughs> my stomach just crawled. I apologize for that. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to where I was. Uh, I'm just going to show you like a really easy technique along with a few products to just amp up your makeup so that you're ready for nighttime. This works especially well if you're coming from work and you have to go out later that night but you just don't have time to start out fresh or really good if you're traveling. Like I know for me, I like to start off with a fresh face and then for nighttime, you want to get dolled up. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I glam up for nighttime, Time, keep on watching. Oh, and if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. I post new videos here every week. I also have a vlog channel. It's called Life with Trina, so you can make sure to check that out after you finish watching this video. All right, let's get started. So here's a look at my simple day makeup, but now we're going to add some drama to the eyes using the Nudes palette by Maybelline. I used this bronzy shadow to darken up the lid, and honestly, I think this jazzed it up, but I am going to do some more. But first we got to blend. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and going in back and forth motions to smooth it out. And look at that. What a difference that makes. No harsh lines. Now I'm using this light brown in the crease to smooth it out even more. And this is a quick way to just make your eyes look blended. And you can go in back and forth motions or in circles. Whatever works for you. Both work just the same. Now I'm going to take a touch of this darker brown and apply that to the outer edges of the eyes and you can make this as subtle or as dark as you'd like, depends on how much time you have. Mine is pretty soft because it's easier to apply a small amount of color when you're in a rush, just means less blending time. Now here is the star of the show. This is the Master Contour V Stick from Maybelline. It's a two-sided cream stick and look how cute it is! <laughs> I'm applying the lighter side in a triangle shape underneath the eyes and this is going to help conceal any darkness that you may have after a long day. I know for me, my dark circles start to show through, which I hate, but this is going to help conceal and give you that really highlighted and uplifted look, which you definitely want for nighttime. So this product is really creamy too, so it makes it super easy to blend into your skin with your fingers. In case you're like on the go and you just don't have any tools with you, it's super small, convenient. Just keep it in your purse and just pull it out for touch-ups. I'm blending super quickly and it looks like I'm in fast forward, but I'm not. Oh my gosh, look at that difference though, so much better. Uh, and I don't even know if I mentioned the color to you, but this is the shade Dark. I know there's three to choose from, and I just think that the color combo, like the dark one for me, is like the perfect one for my skin tone. And it lets you get that really sharp edge on your shadow, which, oh my gosh, I think I just did a, ja a dab, even though I don't think that was an actual dab. <laughs> Moving on, I'm also using the lighter side to highlight my forehead and the nose while we're at it. Now it's time for contour, so I flipped it over and applied the darker side to the contours of my cheeks, and this is gonna give you that sculpted look. Love contouring, you guys know that. And don't be scared if you're new to highlight and contour. This is super easy to use, and you can blend it out in just like, seriously, a few seconds, and you get a really natural contoured look. So again, I'm going in with my fast forward fingers and blending that out. You also want to add some to the temples and onto the forehead just along your hairline and that's going to help warm up your face. I was listening to a 90s playlist in case you were wondering and I was having the best time ever. Sculpted. Look at that compared to the other side. Pretty awesome. So I just added a little bit more to the hollows, blended it out and you can also do a little nose contouring as well. I just did some small dabs to each side just to finish off the sculpting and then it was time to set and I use my favorite powder, obviously. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and I just brush that all over the face. You definitely wanna make sure to set this because after using a cream, it's necessary or else it'll crease or just move around as the night goes on. So now that I'm all sculpted up, I'm just applying a bit of blush to the cheeks for a flush of color, and then I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm applying a liquid liner. This is an easy way to make your look more dramatic and everybody loves a wing. Like, even if you don't have shadow, just throw a wing on and you're good. 
Now to finish off the eyes, I used that bronze shadow again and blended that along the lower lash line. This just balances out the eyes, especially when you have a smoky top lid and a liner. You just want to make sure that the bottom isn't like so stark, so you just got to put a little something on there. I kept it soft, and I also took a little bit of the shimmery silver and applied that to the tear ducts to make the eyes pop. Finished with another coat of mascara, just in case you got shadow fallout on the lashes, which tends to happen when you're going back in later. Now for lips, I kept it nude for this look because I think that complements the eyes and you guys know I love a nude lip but applying a dark color instantly makes your makeup pop too so if you're skipping shadow and just have like a wing liner on or something like that you can totally throw on a dark lip and it will transform the entire look and that's it really easy quick way to glam up for nighttime hope you guys like this look be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to see more videos and don't forget to check out my blog channel life with Trina Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.